Marilyn Monroe said, give a girl the right pair of shoes and she can conquer the world. And conquer the world she did. Let's go meet today's guest. And welcome to Mentally Yours. I'm Sarah Jane. This is my show where we talk about all things mental health with some very powerful women. And today our powerful woman is Aprajita Thur. Hi. Hello. How's it going? It's a lot of jewelry, mate. Thank you. I have a script. I have a script somewhere. Right. I've read, uh, tell me if it's true or not, that you were quite the rebel. Oh, yes. Yeah. In and then you made way. some pretty rebellious choices as well. I still do. Okay. I am so proud about it. Okay. From, I think, uh, so, you know, uh, this is something which is very deep mm -hmm. and I feel when you have extremely, you know, strict parents, mm -hmm. you find reasons or loopholes to escape, you know, the rules set for you. Yeah. And I'm so sorry this is going on camera. Mom, Dad, I'm really sorry already. But, you know, uh, although my parents accept that there's never been that discrepancy, but that gender differences have always been there in my family. My Jessica. brother, my brother was allowed to do so many more things mm. than me. He could get away with Again, sorry. And, uh, murder. And age difference kya hai? Four years. Or tu choti hai ki badi hai? Nahi, I'm the older one. Ho. Oh. <gasps> wow. So I always wanted to be independent. So yeah. this was about like I think I was 17 when I joined Vodafone, yeah. and we would have our night shifts, and I would look forward to the night shifts to escape. And my mom, poor thing, would be forced to stand by the window till the time I didn't come home. <gasps> and my dad would not be the bad guy. Huh? He would just tell my mom, "Why? I can't." I can eat. Oh God. So you know when you're subject to all of that, yeah. invariably a rebellious attitude is just formed very naturally. So whether it used to be sneaking out of the night to go and meet my husband, obviously, then boyfriend, or to go clubbing with my friends. So and, and this is really sad. I don't think this is an inspiring story though. In this, I would lock my parents out. So you know then if they wake up, I'll be like, oh, pata nahi, kuch to maine kar liya, and I would sneak out. And this is about like, Post 12 a.m. So, so right. So you would go out, party, etc., etc. You met your then boyfriend, now husband. Yes. And then you made a very bold, daring, rebellious choice was with him as well. Twenty one, twenty two. When when we eloped, there was right. about, yeah, I think twenty two because yeah. obviously there was a religious angle to it. He is a Sardar mm -hmm. Sikh, and mm -hmm. I was a Punjabi Brahmin, mm -hmm. more like a Pahadi is what they would say. Wow. And I think love had its way. So you eloped, you got married. Yes. You figured that your parents would have to come around. Then after that, I actually didn't care so much. Right. Because it's it's just that that acceptance that you know it's okay. You know, right. let her do what she wants to do. Because I was raised by that norm. Are people what will say? I actually care a damn about what people will say. Got it. And you had this awareness as a young woman. Yeah, yeah. My I reasons to rebel were also way more deep than only my parents. Yeah. I was molested as a kid. Oh gosh. And you know, I was just about six or seven. Mm. So you know, you don't have so much understanding of what has really happened with you. None at all. My hands are shivering when I talk about it because it just brings out bad memories. No, well, not in a bad way. You like... should know that you're not alone. So I was molested as well. I'm so sorry. And it was from a cousin. And But the thing is, the reason I came to terms with this because I did a lot of therapy, I did a lot of research and realized that he was also very young. And I was also very young. Same. And we didn't really know. You know what was interesting is when I uh, came out and spoke about it and when sort of the confrontation happened, not with the person who caused the harm, but um, with another cousin, he said that he was molested by another male cousin in my family. And I was like, what? How? What? I was like, this is, is this, is, this is not my family. This is not going to be my ancestral yeah. lineage. It's going to end with me. Right, I'm going to speak about it. Yes. I'm going to be open that about it. That was the it. same thought process. Yeah, I came I'm just like I'm going to tell everybody. It's it's fine if it's going to affect me, but I'm going to tell everyone simply because this cannot be buried. No, but I'll tell you on the other hand, it helped me heal. The more same. I was vocal about same. it, same. The more I was same. able to cope with it. Yeah, yeah. Because just hearing that someone like you've just told me, and I had this like I feel like I got hit by a train, know, but then I I'm know. like, oh my god, but I'm not alone. Yes. Instantly, I was like, right, this is amazing. It's fuck all when it happened. Sorry for my French, but now. I'm not alone. It has happened to a lot of women and look at where we are. Yes. Like you just said that it has to end with me. So that is what I decided that whether it's me thinking about, oh my God, what people are going to say, everything has to end. But yeah, yeah there, there are repercussions of me going through whatever I do. I'm an insecure mother. I'm super protective mother. And I... And I'm an aggressive individual as well. So like I've bashed up people on the road when I... They're just staring. I'll be like, what are you seeing? But then that is again... I think a side effect of... Can I ask you a very... Yes. Okay. 
Did you feel that? Did you feel you lost your femininity? Because Absolutely. Speak into that. Yes. Please. Yes. Tell me. Tell me more about that. So no, no. But then that was also probably a defense mechanism. Yes. Exactly. So you that's know, where bitch face came from. Oh, 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 thank you. That's where so bitch face summed it up. Why me. do you have bitch face? Because I had to develop it. Yeah. You know, because I had to put it on. And zero tolerance. I, I don't to. have tolerance to shit. But I'm gonna. I I I must come back to pregnancy. because you said you were a young mom you said it was hard you explained to me the various phases that you yeah. went through and why you developed the attitude of being rebellious and everything else that you became and on top of all of this you speak about postpartum depression oh man before we get into what you went through i want you to explain to everybody watching what is postpartum depression so i will give you my version please yes there is, i don't know what the scientific and no, the no, your real version, version is your version I've had the best pregnancy. Right. And uh, towards the end of it I think there was some medical complications. I think what families don't realize is it's a very new phase just as for them that there is a new being that's come to the life of everyone. There is also the woman who's evolved from a girl or a woman into a mother. And my body has gone through change. Yeah. I think it was a new role uh, yeah. and i was not ready for it i just felt do i have a life after this or am i just going to be like the cow yeah sorry for again please it, don't be but then just feed clean sleep feed yes. clean sleep is yeah. that the role i am going to be limited to you emphasize the fact that there's not enough conversation that happens yeah, about post postpartum depression what would you rather have i just feel we need to talk about it a little more yeah. than probably we are still doing like yeah. now there is awareness mental health all that understood yeah. but what we don't talk about is what is that vacuum that the individual is facing see i could be facing for career she could be facing for body she could be just facing for anything also it really pisses me off that ek to get pregnant फिर दूसरा वाओ यू वेंट बैक टू शेप सो क्विकली through the emotions through the motions of it and you've reached somewhere so i had uh, i had two friends of mine back there in the same building and we decided we'll do a business together okay. so i being a jewelry technologist i would just sit and make earrings i right. would just sit and make jewelry right because the creative outlet is extremely important okay. whatever that makes you happy whether yeah. it's your cooking whether it's i don't know arranging a cupboard whatever just yeah. gives you that escape yes so i also had the same issue is to specify that it's okay to escape as long as you're escaping into something healthy yes and you're not escaping and going into denial and sometimes so you, you know you have issues talking it out yes but what i would like to know is so for you you are you have um a supportive husband so you have a supportive home environment yes what is it like for you as a business woman outside the house my workforce made me realize you're a woman you're supposed to be home you can't be the boss oh what do people say no so they would just feel that you're a woman so whenever you give them direction yes. they would be like are you know you don't know so yeah because i'm not professionally a shoemaker i have learned it on the job got it i can proudly say that no doubt my workforce with carigars is all dominated by men yeah but my back end office is dominated by women yeah you're the second woman boss to say this to me so what we're trying to achieve is you don't necessarily have to have a mental health issue to be conscious of your mental health i what you said to me uh what you said in uh, what we've read is that you said that losing your sense of self was essential to reclaiming your sense of self yeah. that is such a powerful thing to say and to me it speaks into the fact that this is somebody who is conscious of the fact that their mental health was perhaps not ideal you lost yourself somewhere completely but it was because you lost yourself completely you that found you found yourself, yourself You found you're your way me, back. The way you're decoding is you're just giving me goosebumps. But it's so it's it's what mental health journeys are yes. meant to be. It's not that you're not going to lose your way. It's going to happen. Yeah. How do you find your way back? And how do you then empowered? Hmm. How are you oh, empowered? empowered? How are you empowered by this journey? So what was this like for you? For me, I did not know I was having issues, and yeah. I still don't know whether I did. Right. But I dug myself into work, and probably why I am known as a workaholic that I love. because i feel that is my escape right and like going back to the same thing which we discussed earlier we all want that escape it's great to escape but do you take time to acknowledge what you're feeling 
if it's not a good feeling probably now yeah. i didn't i back then i would not have realized what and i was how, going through and when you through. acknowledge that you're not feeling good what do you do see it's now when people are talking about anxiety and panic that i know that i have you know anxiety that or maybe it's panic attack is now when i'm acknowledging it yeah. i didn't even know whether i was actually going through an anxiety because you know you are you you were a victim i would say i wouldn't say victim but because i've no, been it's fine subject to, say you to were a trauma victim because you were It's not fine to live in victimhood. No, I don't want to be even acknowledged as a victim Why? because the moment you're acknowledging as victim, I don't want sympathy. It happened. It's not I'm sympathy, babe. It's no. exchanging and it's acknowledgement. It's not at all sympathy. That's probably now, you know, Sarah. Yeah. Back then, it would be like bechari yaar but bichari. it is bechari no but i'm not a bechari which but is what why what you went through as a bechari na you're not no, bechari on every day but what you went through i still not want to call be you know which is the other thing i feel and i have which a difference of opinion which is why i ask you the opinion, feminity question which is why i have a difference of opinion here is that the moment we go into the bechari factor no yeah that you then go into that little shell where you feel that oh my god i was the victim i did something wrong and then the whole wish is then and the this whole... is why conversations need to happen yeah. because abla nari is one thing i get it i don't want to deal with an abla nari but if you've genuinely been through something that has traumatized you to yeah. your core from a very young age yes. it is okay that you can call yourself a victim it is not okay to remain yes, in victim, victim mode but uh, just to wind up what i wanted to ask you was because you have mom and business woman how do you strike the balance between oh, the man. two i i don't think it's easy i have my days yeah. when i want to just tear my hair apart yeah. when my children just call me frantically yeah and i want to just focus on work yeah. but there is there is no balance there is no work life balance i'm sorry i would i would love to emphasize that people do talk about it but we have our days yeah you know and i have a and that, great and therein i think therein lies the strength and therein lies what yes. i want people to actually hear Is that, that it's okay, it's okay to make okay. mistakes please it's okay please. You it's know, okay if you have a day when you're like oh my god i'm the worst mom ever yes. oh my god i'm the worst boss oh, no. ever Can i you, have my you know? days where yeah. i don't want to turn up to work because my kids have sucked the energy out of me yeah. which is normal and there are days when i feel that i can conquer the world yeah. which is also a phase so i know that there are a lot of people who are going to be watching this who are you know new moms planning on being a mom not even thinking about being a mom should i have a business should i be a mother should i get married should I, all of these sort of questions 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 get stuck in analysis paralysis and don't do anything about it right you have struck a non balanced situation Absolutely. but you are doing both so what would you say to these people so that they don't what would you say to these women and men and whoever out there who's thinking of starting their own business um owning their issues and yet moving forward in life what would you say to that see i i don't think i have the right words that would really motivate people but i just want to say that you follow your heart yeah and stop getting influenced by what the society is going to put out the plan for you yeah so because society will reward a great mother everybody wants to have those you know epic rule books that you want to follow yeah no you do what is best for you and best for your child or best for your mental health yeah right thank you so much for being with us and for everybody watching if you've liked what you've heard and what you've seen please do like please do share and subscribe to hot of life